Frog comes uh, just with a pretty basic authentication system. Um, it's uh, the site's ma mainly meant for internal internal use, so it's pretty much on the honor system only. Uh, but thanks to Django, you can implement any level of uh, of uh, authentication that you'd like. Uh, so I'm just going to enter an email address and my first name and last name. It's not case sensitive, uh, but so you can enter whatever you want uh, and click log in, and it'll uh, it'll make a user if you're not already there, or it'll just log you in, and uh, you only have to log in once, and you should be all set from there. The Frog Viewer uh, is another uh, pretty big highlight of the of the system. Um, you can pan, you can zoom in and out. Um, all of this is done without a plugin. It's using HTML5 Canvas, um, and it handles images pretty big. I've gotten them up to five or six k, and they still they still pan around like butter. You can use these left and right uh, buttons to go between images, or you can use a keyboard uh, to go back and forth. Um, then there's this uh, zoom one to one or fit to window. Um, so I will uh, zoom in a little bit and then click the fit to window so it just pops it in there. There's also this shelf down here which shows you uh, your current selection um, and you can quickly hop between images. Um, it even has uh, my, uh, some pre pretty basic video support. It's there but um, there are plans to make this uh, a little more, a little more fleshed out. Um, so this is just a count of your current selection. And that's it. So one of the biggest selling points of Frog is how easy it is to search and find images uh, quickly and easily. Uh, everything's right at your fingertips. It's even easy to maintain images and uh, and tags and all that. So uh, first, uh, it comes with just a basic search, nothing more than you know a basic you know MySQL can handle. Um, so I'm just going to search uh, over, and it'll search for Overlord. It'll find it. It's pretty much just going off the title, uh, but you can implement anything bigger like Solar or anything you know, full full featured search engine. Uh, so we're just going to add some tags to these. Um, the left column is everything that will be added to your selection. The center is everything that's on it. And then uh, the right is everything that's going to be removed from the selection. So let's add the obvious here. We'll add Zerg. And we'll also add Ground Unit. In there. And we click Save. And now all these images have uh, those tags. So if we search for Zerg, we'll get just those images. Uh, and, but we do have an overlord in here, which is not a ground unit, so we're going to have to fix that. And we also have Mutalisk, which we'd like to add Zerg to. So let's edit tags again, and we just drag Zerg over and remove ground unit. And now, when we search for ground unit, we'll only get those two. And if we search for Zerg, then we'll get all four. So. Uh, Keeping tags and searching is uh, is really easy and really intuitive. So next we have uploading and how to get images inside of Frog. So first you can click the upload button and it's just typical browse. You can select as many as you want and click open. Or you can just drag them in from your desktop and drop them right on. Uh, you'll notice this one's in red. This means it are, it's already up there uh, by me so we'll be overriding it. Uh, you can remove it if you want. So I'm just going to click upload and these will complete and now we have all four new images. And you can click on the artist name and it'll filter by that artist. So now I'll talk about how other galleries are handled and navigation. So here we have navigation, we have just a list of galleries uh, with a title, uh, you'll have the image count, the video count, and a short description. Um, 
So first we're just going to copy some images to another gallery. Uh, you can remove selected, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, just choose copy to gallery. We can enter a title and a description for a new one, or we can just select from an existing one. So we're going to put this in Zerg, click send. It'll ask you if you want to go to that gallery now. We'll say yes. And here we have our four images. Now, uh, this is Zerg, so we're going to get rid of these guys. Uh, is that the only Zerg one? So we go remove selected, and it just it doesn't delete the images, it just unassociates them. So we'll go back to the main gallery. Uh, so you can see they're still there. And we'll just create a new gallery. So we'll select these guys. We'll copy to gallery. And we'll name this one SC2. And just say all StarCraft 2 stuff. Send, yes. And then we see our images there. And in the navigation we have our new gallery with an image count and our description. And that's it.